Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's 5.30 on the head and we're going to be pouring some concrete today on a large job. We're going to start with the front sidewalk, the culvert wings, and then part of the driveway. Uh, this morning I do have a couple shout outs. One to Mario and he sent me a hat. That is right here. International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, that is from Richmond, Virginia, local 666. I don't know about your numbers, but I appreciate the hat and thank you for watching the channel. And then also I wanted to give a special shout out to a very young fan named Matthew uh, from Mooresville, North Carolina, and his dad Joe, of course. I really appreciate that you guys watch the channel. Thank you very much. I go hope you both have a great day. So I'm going to get to work and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? How's the coffee business, Joe? I don't know. You don't know? I saw you broke this machine already once I know, this morning. I break it every morning. Come on. Morning. I put that uh, concrete saw back in there, I've seen that. and then uh, uh, we need to cut rebar. We're gonna do the sidewalk, and then that driveway part. Yep, the back. And then all the rest, we're gonna we're gonna pour the culvert walls at 11:30. I, we can't do a big pour in the middle of the That'd day. Be nice when, to get them done. Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't think we poured. When it's 90 piece. degrees, there's no, no way. Not in the heat of the day. That sounds good. Yeah. Morning, Eric. You're gonna drive the white truck today. Eric, what's wrong? I was just checking, you know, because we're working now. You look like you were thinking about the weekend or something. And what you need? 13 yards. And then give me a half hour of that um, hydration stabilizer. That stuff was working great last week. Daryl, where are you, Daryl? Morning. Hey there, how you doing? Good. Did you make us any coffee? I did not. I'm just kidding. I'm not. just kidding. Why are you walking so slow? No, for real. We got a long way to go, man. That's good. Hey, you surprised that the uh, Daryl's are late? No, me neither. How late, 12? <laughs> Did you just ask me if I'm ready? Wow. I'm always ready, man. That's what I have to ask you guys. Everybody's turning the tables on me, even Autumn. Man. I gotta step up my game if you're questioning if I'm ready. I gotta step it up, Autumn. I gotta step up my game. Eric asked me if I'm ready. What? Me? Come on. Hey, everybody thinks I'm being mean to you when I tell you how to do something. Or if you're doing something wrong and I try to teach you. Everybody thinks I'm so mean. I'm like, man. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Come on. They don't know what a mean boss really is. I noticed yesterday when we were grading, you didn't really know how to tie a string on properly. I'm going to teach you how real quick. This baffles a lot of people, but once you get it, it's super, super easy, okay? So you bring the string around the pin, okay? And bring it around again towards you, okay? You wanna pull it, it's real simple. It just, it just looks tricky when you see somebody else do it fast. So you wrap it around and you bring it back towards you. Now you see how the string is like this? Mm -hmm. All you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this string over that string and that holds it with the, with the uh, friction. So you pull it tight and then you take this hand and you bring this string over that string. See, I brought it over and that friction will hold it, okay? Yeah. So that way you don't have to like tie it around a string and under a nail and all this stuff. You bring it around you, okay. bring it towards you, you bring it around the pin, bring it towards you, you pull it tight and as you're pulling, you use this hand to bring it over that string like that and then it'll hold itself. And if you got a slippery pin, like a brand new pin is really slippery, this one's probably pretty slippery here. You bring it around and then you can, you can actually bring it around twice. Okay, oh. and then you bring that string over both of them and that'll hold it even on a slippery pin. Okay, 
Got it. So you can do it really fast. I mean, once you're used to it, you just bam, done. You know, try it. Yeah, gotta, gotta move on nope, uh, you gotta stay where I am. It's actually okay. easier if you're on the right side of the pin if you're right handed. You got it, dude. It's that easy. Yeah. Something you know now. Yeah. Bam. Got it. Bam. Don't be like Daryl. Okay, <laughs> boss. You shared that trade secret with him? I did. Right he's He's got it now. It is simple. But a lot of people, it takes them a long time to learn that, believe it or not. I have no idea why. Autumn. Autumn. Come here. Grab that side of the wire. No easy money for you today. You got to help with this wire mesh. Because if you notice, the Daryls are very late again. The funny thing is, Autumn's stronger than Daryl. Every day. No, just just fill the whole thing in. Easy for you. What are you doing? That's all you do? Wow, that looks like easy money. You know what you're doing? Not a clue. I think you lie. I think you're doing a good job. I try it. For everybody, I try. That's all you can do is try. The day is not starting good though. My superstars didn't show up. Hey, put a gallon in. Give me a little bit here first. Right here. Thank you. Good question. They don't say that name. They're on swing ship. Yeah, they kind of come they in. Swing in every now and then. They're the, they're <laughs> Yeah, hit the sauna tubes and then get out of here. Come on up. That'll be good. We'll have a fresh truck for the walk.
Eric, say something funny. You don't have no jokes for nothing, man. You're, you're about as funny as Al. Well, he knows SpongeBob. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little chemical in there that helps you. It. Yeah, it's called retarder. Yeah. Yeah. There's only a little bit in there, though. But I like it. So when it gets colder, do they, they slow it down or do they speed it up? It's all up to me. I add whatever I want. But in, in, and, and when it's cold, I'll speed it up with a chemical called, it's an accelerator. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll, I mean, literally, you could pour in the morning and won't get hard all day long. You know, if it's 35 degrees and you don't have nothing in there. All right, joints are all in. Uh, not a big pour this morning, which was good because we're missing a couple guys. So superstars didn't show up again today for whatever reason. Maybe they're doing interviews or they have a talk show or something, I'm not sure. So we just poured this pad and then we poured the uh, front sidewalk, which you saw. I just got the joints in there. We're waiting for it to set up, finish it up and broom it. And I got the culvert walls coming in a little while. Easy money. It's looking good. These three squares in the sun, they have finished. Those four were in the shade. They're starting to get some sun. These were all in the shade. So it's still wet up there, but it's looking good. Clean that joint up, victory style right there. Kind of wet. Yeah, it's still wet. Okay. Uh, Give me your best bugs impression. Go. Thank you, brother. That's it. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Come on. I know you got more lines than that. He can't hear you right now. Go ahead. Oh, but what is he saying? All right. So I just finished grooming up the walk. Next truck's here pouring the culvert wings. I sealed the uh, pad over there that we poured. Everything's going good. Short-handed today, but it's not really that big of a deal because we didn't pour a ton of concrete. But all right, I'm gonna grab a drink and go start helping those guys down there. They probably don't need any help, but somebody's gotta supervise. Some of you guys are wondering why we poured those wings separately and not together with the rest of the driveway. Well, the wings are actually quite a bit of work to finish because you got to strip them and face them. It's kind of like a big step on each side. Uh, so when you're pouring the big driveway, you don't have a lot of time to uh, goof around with it. So I like to get those out of the way when they're bigger like that, if we can. See, today we just got some of the smaller uh, areas out of the way. So tomorrow we can start concentrating on the big, easy areas and get a lot of concrete poured. It's just a lot of messing around, get all the small stuff out of the way. And then tomorrow, we can bang it out. I saw you on Facebook and you weren't in this truck. Yeah. All on vacation. Yeah, somebody's gotta take vacation, right? Come on.
Come on, man. That's what winter's for. Autumn, get out of the shot. He's trying to make a TikTok. Come on. So me and Eric are gonna take forms off, pick up pins. Bugs is gonna work on those wings when they're ready to finish. Uh, one guy will take one side, one guy will take the other. Finish them up, face them, broom them, and then we'll be ready for tomorrow. Easy. It's 90 degrees today, so it's warm. Some of you guys wouldn't consider that hot, but it's hot to me. 90 degrees is hot. I don't care. When it's humid like it is, it's pretty warm. Cleaning up, bugs and scraping the forms. Throw everything back in the truck, clean up, and be ready for tomorrow morning. All right, I'm just putting a cure and seal agent on the concrete sidewalk here. It's pretty warm out today, so curing concrete is pretty important. It's not as important when it's nice and cool out in the fall, but it sure is when it's hot. We got Eric on the right, weighing in at 103 pounds. <laughs> and we got bugs on the left. I don't know what Bugs weighs, but I know for sure it's more than Eric. <laughs> well, we'll see who wins. He started at the same time. So far, Bugs is pulling way ahead. Way ahead. Make sure you take your mag and go around that culvert pipe and get that clean, clean looking. All right, Eric, you ready to go? You tired? Tell me the truth. Yeah, I was working yesterday. Yesterday and today. You're going to help somebody today? Yeah. Don't come in tomorrow, man. All tired. I'm serious. Because we got a big day tomorrow. You gotta come in with full power tomorrow. You can't come in with half battery life. No, I'll come in with full. Full green, all bars. Yeah.